Hey guys, today let's learn how to use a dynamic island on the iPhone on iOS 17. So if you are a new user of the new iPhone 14 Pro Maxes, in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the new dynamic island on the iPhone 14s. So please watch this video until the end to find out how. So the new iOS 17 updates gives us more features, of course, to the new dynamic island that we have on our iPhone devices. So now on our current device we are basically going to have more features with as well having the option to listen to shazam so you can actually scroll down to your control centers and have shazam right here you can actually go and proceed with listening to that music and trying to search it on apple music you could also go ahead and have some more live activities with other applications and also other devices so if you have the ipad lying around or the apple ecosystem is going to work together and also utilize the dynamic island that you have on your iphone device as well and basically you're going to have more features and more application compatibility that you are going to receive with of course the new update that comes along on your iphone device so you could also proceed with uh, using the voice memos application and see what that is going to show up if you basically try to record a voice and it's going to give you some more features as well on your dynamic island but that's basically it for this video guys thank you guys for watching please like this video and subscribe as well if you guys learned something and i'll see you guys on the next video